All right, we back on again. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, please join again. I just had to end it and start it back again. Um, and so we're setting up one more time, you know, just uh, hop, hop back on. That's all I can say. Hop back on. Um, and we're excited because it's so many different things that um, we we want to talk about today. And you know what? This just lets you know that this is that important. It's that important because as we are um, looking to do um, just empower people in a wonderful way, it is so much that's going on. And so, you know, the enemy is busy and we say different things, but we know that all things work together. Hello for those. Hey, Joe, glad to see you on here. Share, let folks know um, that we are on here and I sent an invite because we are... Um, just looking um, to add our sister, uh, Minister Kiana Cox Jones, and I've sent an invite to her. So we're going to see whether this uh, technology works well. But in the meantime, um, we're excited about the event. This is a continuous thing. We always got things going on. But as we're on here, uh, we want to talk a little bit about um, the Dream Speaks and Vision Board Party. Hopefully you all will um, get back on again and be able to join us for the conversation that we're having today. So we're excited and we're sending out invitations now. I'm not really seeing folks on here, but if you play it back a little bit later, um, we know that we'll see different things on. So, um, and Kiana, we might have to do a tag team of, I'll do a few points and then going back, but it's saying that it's adding. I love it. <laughs> All right. you, I could not get this thing to work. I said, like, oh my God. My husband came running there we go. Like, Excited. Said, I was like, James, please take your ass. That's it. That's it. So we're both on here. You see them both of our faces. We're excited. Look, this just lets you know how important this event is for tomorrow, because if it was easy, two things. One, anybody could do it, and there would be no opposition. <laughs> it but we're excited about it because we know that the opposition we you know we got all our points professional about the things look people don't call me right now i love you but don't call me right now we in the middle of something we are excited about our dream speak vision board party that is tomorrow at 2 p.m look um we've been posting we've been telling you how to get your tickets if you are looking for changes to happen in your life if you're looking for god to do something amazing or you just want things to be different than what they were in 2017 and you don't know how to get there we are coming together tomorrow at 2 p.m Yes. At, at the Charles Shrin uh, Community Center, and we're excited. So we're just going to talk about some things today. One, because we want to get you prepared. You know, we don't want you just to show up and think that we have all the answers for you. This is going to be some work for you, you know, but anything that's worth having is worth working for. You know, when we think about um, uh, babies and we're celebrating babies all over the place, there are babies everywhere, literally. When we think about that, you know, a woman has to go through nine months of carrying and then labor before that baby comes. And so we want to talk a little bit about what it is. And so I'm going to kick it over to our minister, Kiana Cox Jones, and just let her start off and we're gonna do a tag team here so hopefully you all are excited as we are we kind of we kind of hype about this so yes so thanks for letting me join you sister first of all i can't wait to wrap my arms around you tomorrow and love on all of that yes um because i didn't see you in a couple of months so i'm excited yes. um secondly <clears throat> i'm so happy that you're in town from north carolina um <laughs> And I'm so excited about this event. I'm excited about what God is going to do tomorrow, how he's going to speak, and how he's really going to liberate us to really walk into um, our next, the next of our lives, whatever next is, the next of your lives. If some may say dimension, chapter, season, whatever your next is, we're getting ready to walk into it and we're walking in it to it together. So um, I first wanted to start off with literally – um, our first point for today when we talk about Dream Speaks is right um, is listen, hear the vision. So when we talk about Dream Speak, and we're talking about, we say dream, we're talking about the vision, the vision that God has for your life. And the first thing is 
to listen. And we talked about this the other day when I did the live, when I went live, we talked about being in alignment and how important it is to align yourself with God's vision for your life. And it's important that you take the time to seek God in regards to your vision. Your dream cannot speak if it's speaking from you. If you are speaking mm. and it's your desires and it's all your wants and there's none of this, it's all this, all you, you're looking in the mirror and it's just me, myself, and I. I know Beyonce got that song, me, myself, and I. But that don't work for when you're trying to be in alignment. Me, myself, and I That's does right. not work for alignment. So point number one is stop and listen and spend time with God. Stop, listen, spend. You remember, uh, my kids still do it uh, for stop, drop, and roll. Stop, listen, and spend. That's our first point. Mm. Stop, listen, and spend. Spend time with God. Please come tomorrow knowing that you've spent time with God and you sought him out in regards to what he wants for you. And I'm going to use this as an example, and I'm going to let my sister piggyback on it. Because I've gotten, literally, I've gotten emails, I've gotten text messages about, oh my <laughs> goodness, I'm so excited for you about having your daughter. Oh my goodness. Let me be honest with you. If God, if I had sought God and he said that this had to be a boy, I wasn't going to abort my child, people. Yes. I'm not going to be like, well, send it back to heaven because this is not what I want. Well, first of all, <laughs> the honest truth is that I love being a mother. So I, I did not get pregnant with the intention of, I'm getting pregnant with the intention of having a girl. Not until mm -hmm. I was in alignment. And that's what he told me. So if I must be truthful with you, my husband said to me that, he knew that um, number four, number four is Elijah. He knew that Elijah was a boy. And he said, I just did not want to hurt your feelings because you were so sold on that thing. <laughs> he said, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. He said he knew that. And he knew that this was a girl. So you got to be careful of people. you like, well, you didn't grow up in church, so you don't know Jesus the way I know Jesus. Let me tell you something. My husband has his own relationship with God, and it is so beautiful to watch this thing develop. So you cannot be judging people on their relationships with God. So I just thought I was so, I'm connected with God. He's going to tell me what I'm having. Well, my husband said he knew that Elijah wasn't a boy because that's what God, so when you spend, but if, but be open to that when you're spending time with him, he may say things that you may not like. And so understanding that the truth of the matter is I wasn't ready to be a mother of a daughter five years ago. So Elijah had to be Elijah. And, and if you want to talk about practically what names mean behind an Elijah has to proceed somebody else behind every there Elijah is. comes an Elisha. So my baby had to proceed, had to come behind her brother. But anyway, that's another story of another day. But my point is that you've got to be ready and for what God is going to say to you and really seek out what is your plan and your desire. Just in case you didn't know, when me and my husband decided to do this, July 23rd was the very last day I took my medication for my rheumatoid arthritis. God said, stop taking your medication on this day. Mm -hmm. I was in the middle of rehearsal mm -hmm. for Dream Girl. I stopped taking my medication on that day. From July 23rd, still to this day, I have an alarm that goes off on my phone at 12 p.m. This is not my children. Come here, Messiah, real quick. Because you know kids tell you the truth. You know, I just want y'all to know because I ain't lying. But my baby will tell you, right? Every day at 12 o'clock, the phone goes off. And what does it say? Project, honey. Project. Use your voice. Project with that. Pray for Savannah Grace. Every day from July 23rd. From July 23rd. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Every day from July 23rd till even today at 12 o'clock, it went off today. It says, pray for Savannah Grace. And no matter where we are, my husband will text me and say it's 12. We could be different places. And no matter, the boys will stop. Sometimes they pray. And we, it says pray for Savannah Grace. I got Because because I was in alignment, that was her name. And that's what we had to do. Now, let me just tell you this. Five years ago, the name was Princess Grace. I was calling down the wrong person. <laughs> I, I was here. I remember. <laughs> she like, I can't come down. That ain't my name. Would you, you know? You call me the wrong. Right. Oh, I felt that. Think about the prices right. Karen Lavender, come on down. Karen be like, I don't know who Karen Lavender is, but I'm Karen. I don't know who that Lavender. is. Exactly. So, uh, you know, stop and and listen and spend time with God to make sure that your vision is in alignment, Karen. 
Yeah. So now the, the biggest part of spending time with God, and, and this is the, the hard part when we talk about alignment and the truth, you have to, when you spend time with God and there's nobody else but you, you get to know more about you. And sometimes you might find things that you really don't want to deal with. You know, you have flaws. And, I, and I've got people who are close to me and they'll be like, you know, this is one flaw from you. Now, look, you know, I'm from Jersey. Sometimes, you know, you say a flaw, that means you try to tell you. I feel like sometimes you try come for me wait a minute but God will show you you and he'll show you the areas and so you know when I say like okay I'm ready to pursue a relationship um that will um start in marriage I'm not even gonna say end in marriage you know I'm ready to be somebody's wife well six seven years ago I wasn't ready for that you know my focus was on my children my focus was on my career I didn't have time look I it was one corner in my closet and that was all he was getting that's all we're going to say for that. So apparently, you know, if I want him to look the way that I want him to look, that means I got to make room for some suits. Well, really, I ain't got to make room at all because he's going to move me into the place that God has for us. But physically, I was, uh, you know, figuring out how to manifest the space that I needed to really put in my heart. And so when you spend time with God, you also get a mirror in front of yourself. So literally, you know, we're coming together, not so much just to be like, well, I want the house. I want the car. I want the business. I want the millions. I want, you know, I want some of that Tyler Perry money. I want some of that Oprah. That's not what we coming together for. We're coming together so that we could figure out how do we ignite the vision that's already inside of you? How do we ignite the things that you know that yeah. God has told you the people yeah. God has sent to you the, the thing that yes. you've been a part of you've been creative in your own way you know look we're not all a Kiana Cox Jones but we also all not a Karen Sims but whoever you are you're a Sue you're a Joe you're a Leslie you're yes. a, a Nikita you're a Deborah you know you are a Susan you're a Joanne whoever you are the day that you were born purpose for you was born yes. on your birthday like, it's not even another time. And so what we're looking to do on tomorrow is to release some dreams and yeah. get you excited about the vision for the purpose that God has placed inside of you. Like, this is hype because we're still coming into our own. You know, I, I, I can say that that with Kiana and myself, you know, a lot of times she may look at me and she may think, oh, yes, my sister is like way up there. And I'd be like, girl, I'm about four steps ahead of you. So <laughs> please don't get it twisted. But look, when we come together, we get to do this tag team here and you get to understand because for me, I tell people all the time, I'm a mother of five, literally grandmother of four and one cooking. Um, I didn't even like kids. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say on that. But God had a different plan for my life because apparently he thought of me that I would be a good mother. Even when I didn't think that I would be a good mother, I thought, this is a hot mess. Who signed up for this here? Like, this ain't easy. But he's allowed me the opportunity to see things. And so some of you are desiring, and it is your vision. It's your dream to be a mother. Look, y'all can come pick them up now. You know, they grown and everything, but I'm always looking for that, you know, because, um, you know, in the Disney days, you used to sign that contract, and it would say, you signing over your firstborn. Ain't nobody come get this girl yet. That's all I had to say for that. But the purpose of all of this is to also understand that we're coming here together so that you understand that your vision shouldn't look like mine. We don't share the same birthday. We don't have the same name. You know, even the, the sense of what my sister was saying about being called the wrong name. When we think about Jacob turning into Israel, it's Ooh. literally when we get into the kingdom, we've got to accept our new kingdom name. But look, I got to tell you, here's the thing. My name is Karen in the kingdom because my name means grace. How about that? Pure grace. So it's literally, literally Karen Ann. And so it means pure grace. And when you know what your name means, when you understand more about your purpose, look, you become powerful because somebody could come to me and they'll say something about me and or, or anybody. They could say, oh, well, you wasn't a good mother because of this. Pfft. Y'all already know it's not 
there's no way for it to go. There's no way for it to go because I'm focused, because I know what God has told me. When somebody says something to me about nonprofit financial management, there's not a lot you could say to me about that because I got almost 20 years in this thing. There's something that you've got time in. And it doesn't mean that you have to have been paid professionally to do it, but maybe you're an awesome Sunday school teacher. Maybe you're a great communicator. Maybe you are super duper about at, at marketing, whatever it is. We want mm -hmm. to be able to ignite that vision. And so now we want to talk a little bit about we spent time, we, we're listening for the vision. Now it's time to write it down. So I'm going to pass it back over to my sister for her to talk a little bit about writing the vision that God has given to you. Thanks for passing me the ball, sis. I'm about to hit that thing. So um, point number two is write down the vision. Um, one of my favorite scriptures is Habakkuk 2 and 2. And it says, then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it will speak. But at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it. Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. That's Habakkuk 2 2, and that's New King James Version. I love this scripture it just reminds us 